Beta sheets are formed with the help of beta strands that come together and are about 5 to 6 amino acids in length at least and that they come with the other strands and hence a beta sheet is formed. So what are the po other possible structures which these beta strands can give rise to? So we're going to look at two of them that is the beta barrels and the beta sandwiches. They are listed here for you, just for your uh, better understanding that the beta strand gives rise to the beta sheet. The beta sheet may give rise to a beta barrel or a beta sandwich. So let's start with the beta barrels. So beta barrels are actually barrels of these beta sheets and are formed once a beta sheet comes together and the first strand in a beta sheet connects with the last strand in the same beta sheet via a hydrogen bond and the resulting structure looks like a barrel. So that's why they are called beta barrels. As I just mentioned, the important thing to remember about beta barrels is that the first strand in the beta sheet makes a hydrogen bond with the last strand in the same beta sheet and therefore it closes on itself and takes form of a cylinder or a barrel. Next, the beta sandwiches. So they are simply beta sheets that are packed onto themselves and hence they take form of a sandwich. It's just like you have a bed sheet at your home and you can fold it and therefore it gives rise to a sandwich like structure. Same is the case with beta sheets. So if you fold them on top of itself, then a beta sandwich is formed. There are some preferences in amino acids for the formation of these beta sheets. So here they are listed and as you can see, amino acids like valine, isoleucine and so on, they have a very high preference for strand formation because Preference for strand formation is the same as the preference for a beta sheet's formation. And you can see that it's much bigger as compared to the turns or the helices. So therefore, we consider these amino acids to be beta sheet formers. And if you are given a sequence, a protein sequence, and you have several of these amino acids occurring in that sequence, then you can guess that maybe this protein folds into a beta sheet. So in conclusion, the important take home message is that the beta sheets are formed by hydrogen bonding between 5 to 10 consecutive amino acids along with 5 to 10 amino acids down the amino acid sequence. So if you have the entire peptide chain, then 5 to 10 amino acids from one portion they make hydrogen bonds with 5 to 10 amino acids from another portion in the protein backbone. This will lead to the formation of a beta sheet. And that the beta strands may be adjacent. So if you have a beta strand continuing on the backbone, then you can have two beta strands coming together by just two amino acids in between and that will be a beta turn. Or there could be bigger portions between these two beta strands in the form of loops or even alpha helices.